Three FMB operators have been charged with breaching COVID-19 safety measures. A fourth was charged over having a staff for dinner for 26 employees at the premises of one of the operators. And to prevent large groups from gathering during Chinese New Year meals, restaurants now have to verify claims that diners are from the same household. These FMB outlets are among the first operators to be charged by the Urban Redevelopment Authority. Last October, this noodle eatery at Circular Road allegedly did not stop customers from gathering in groups of five or more. The limit for social gatherings was five people then. It also allegedly failed to implement safe entry requirements. Near that shop is this bar called Try Again. Last July, it allegedly continued to operate during the period when they were ordered shut for infringing multiple safe management measures. Kim's Place Seafood is also facing charges of allowing gatherings of more than five split across multiple tables. This allegedly took place last September during Singapore Straits Wines Company staff dinner. The eatery purportedly allowed karaoke activities to take place. And with Chinese New Year coming up, the authorities have issued an updated advisory to FNB outlets. Reservations of more than eight people are not allowed unless they are from the same household. If there are more than eight and from the same household, restaurants are now required to check that they really live under the same roof. Honestly speaking, it, it will be very difficult for us to, to ensure that uh, because people book on different platforms, uh, for example, like, like Chope and uh, Hungry Go Where, so they can use two separate names to do that. If we ever found that customers are booking on two different platforms and they come in a large group, we have to politely tell them uh, to turn them away, unfortunately. But with the new requirement, restaurants have seen booking cancellations of up to 20%. They say larger families now prefer to order takeaways instead.